Remember when Johnny Depp brought his two dogs, Pistol and Boo, into Australia without a permit? Barnaby Joyce was really concerned about that, and for good reason. Now, I don't hate Johnny Depp's dogs, but I dislike the way that someone comes into our nation and, it, and doesn't go through the proper process, so basically you're standing away from the laws of this nation. You can't just abscond from the process of our biosecurity controls. Everyone who enters Australia needs to abide by our biosecurity controls to help minimise the risk of exotic pests and diseases entering the country. As part of these controls, many wildlife products, including dogs from the US, need an import permit. As well as having a permit, animals then need to be declared for inspection by ticking yes on the incoming passenger card handed out in flight. Mr Depp did neither of these things and as such, his pistol and boo were sent back to Hollywood. Wildlife products also include items like wood, seeds, insects, leather and fur, plants and flowers. All of these things need to be declared to customs and border protection before being brought into Australia. In many cases, the goods are fined, have and will be returned to you after inspection. Some items may require treatment to make them safe. Items that are prohibited because of the risk of pests and disease will, however, be seized and destroyed. There are lots of non-wildlife products that need to be declared on the incoming passenger card too. Other restricted items include firearms, weapons and ammunition, performance and image enhancing drugs, medicines including prescription, alternative and herbal, currency of more than 10,000 Australian dollars or foreign equivalent, and heritage listed goods such as works of art, stamps, coins and archaeological objects. For more information on what can and cannot be brought into Australia, visit the travel section of the Australian Customs and Border Protection Services website.